So what challenges did you face shooting this film? For this character, you know, I thought was what was very important was to have a connection, to have compassion and sympathy for what these people are going through, and yet to do my job as a detective in the midst of that. Have you read the book? I read the book and the screenplay just about the same time when I found out that there was interest in me for the movie. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty true to the book, correct? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it's, I think it's a very difficult book to make into a film because it's so, it doesn't adhere to one genre, either of novel or film, you know, in particular, it's kind of its own thing. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it, it, Peter really made, made that work. So, um, do you believe in the afterlife? This movie, it, it wasn't religious at all. It was um, about more of a spiritual um, right. afterlife. Do you believe in an afterlife? I believe in something more than this existence. Um, but um, I think it's beyond our personality. It's not necessarily, you know, what we have, this existence we have here continuing on in another world, I think there's something more and bigger and something else. If you could do one last thing before you left Earth, what would that be? It would be to be with my wife and kids and kiss them. And this must have been hard filming with having kids. Yeah, and yeah. It's a, it's a very hard topic to go into and... Um, you know, relate to and imagine it happening to you and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, trying to understand and, and sympathize with what, the, you know, these people are going through. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I can't imagine anything worse, pretty much. So how is it to work with Peter Jackson? Peter's a lot of fun to work with. I mean, he's, um, I think, loves filmmaking so much and has a very youthful exuberance about it that really, uh, rubs off on everyone else and I think he, he loves actors and um, he's a very generous guy and a good-hearted guy and, and, and uh, has a lot of respect for the people he works with. How far would you go to fulfill your vengeance for someone? That's a difficult question. I, I can't answer that. I mean, I'd have to, uh, you know, I could probably say what I think I would do and then in a situation like that I have no idea what I would do. Mm -hmm. Depends on the situation. Yeah, I think situations like that, you never know what you're going to, you know, you never know what, how you're going to respond. You know, you can't think of it. They're not things that happen logically, you know. Mm -hmm. They're much more in, intuitive and emotional things that don't necessarily adhere to preconceived logic. Mm -hmm.